Fort Worth police hope you can solve a January drive-by shooting that killed a sleeping 15-year-old. Police say there is no reason for this teenager and his family to have been targeted, and they think the shooters hit the wrong house. They don't have much to go on, but what they do have, they've shared on Track Down with Fox 4's Sean Rabb. Track Down is in Fort Worth this week. I'm with Detective Kent Bigley, Fort Worth Homicide. We're in the Poly area, Southeast Fort Worth. What happened here back in January, Detective? Um, Sean, it's, it's a very sad case. Uh, January 15th of this year, about 7.30 in the morning, um, officers responded to a drive-by at this location directly behind me. Um, upon arriving at the house, they learned that a 15-year-old um, had been shot while sleeping in his bed. Genio Edwin Flores. Yes, sir. He was very well respected um, at his high school. His high school actually put out a video in remembrance of him. He was a, a star on the soccer team, um, tons of friends, never been in trouble. Muy difícil es porque... Through tears, the father, Eugenio Edwin Flores Sr., describes the pain and how difficult these seven months have been as he comforts his 11-year-old son, both in shirts remembering the 15-year-old. What do you have, detective? Um, at this point, we're able to pull uh, surveillance both from city cameras as well as surveillance cameras on the street. The 700 block of Ravine Road, Fort Worth, January 15th. Look at this car, a Chrysler 300, silver, going south after the shooting it U-turns and goes back north. The difficult part with those Chrysler vehicles, there's a lot of them out there, okay? Uh, this one in particular had some stuff in the windshield, uh, possibly some stickers. Same car, better view from a Fort Worth city camera. The rims almost looked all black with maybe a silver hubcap in the middle, and the front grill looked like at one point it maybe had been damaged or maybe missing the actual grill part in the front of the vehicle. During the drive-by that took place, the house was hit multiple times, including the gate. Um, again, we think this was just uh, the wrong house. And unfortunately, the child was in the front bedroom. And here we are trying to get answers for his family. Um, I, I believe they probably told somebody like, oh, we, you know, we messed up, we hit the wrong house. We don't know, but we need somebody to come forward and help us out. How can folks reach you, Detective Kent Bickley? Number first off, Crime Stoppers. We can put that number out there. They can call again anonymously. My desk number, I'll give it to you, 817-392-4344. I will field any phone call uh, related to this case um, just to try to get answers for this family that's standing behind us. Help solve the murder of this 15-year-old boy. And you can watch past track down stories and maybe even solve a crime. Go to Fox 4 YouTube page, youtube.com slash Fox 4 News.